live from Tijuana, Mexico. Here I am. And no, I'm not standing in a hole. Don't say that. I'm with Troy. <laughs> How are you doing, brother? I'm doing well. Okay, so what part of the world did you come from? I came from Northern California, Auburn specifically. Okay, that's way friggin' north. Okay, that's would be like a 11 hour drive if I'm driving um, not to speed lie. Oh, wait a minute. And we made it a little bit sooner than that. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Okay, good. You drive like a bat out of hell too. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so what? What? What you came down here for? What were you looking for? Uh, well, um, it was actually primarily for my mother's wellness because uh, she has her um, own issues that she wanted to get sorted out, and I just so happened to be at an age in which I'm starting to think about my own mortality, and I needed to get in a good assessment to see where exactly I was at. I knew that I had some dental issues to take care of, and so that was already an easy thing. But since this was a like a perfect triangle of wellness, I uh, saw that you know your um, your your past YouTube videos and everything my mom had followed, so she showed them to me. Oh, cool! And then uh, ultimately, I was more than excited to possibly get assessed in the same way. And uh, lo and behold, you actually found out that uh, I have a lot more ailments than even my mom. So, what, uh, yeah, what, one of the things, okay, we go, we go through life. And if you live, you know, quarter of a century, a little bit more than that, you're going to have some traumas. The key is, and this is weird, because when you're looking at, because what we do, we do the x-rays, nerve scans, thermography, and we're going to see past traumas. Brother, you had traumas that are like over 10, 15 years old. But the cool thing is no fusions. So that means your genetics, you that's that's freaking bulletproof. N trauma decades earlier, no fusions means you got good genes. Oh, uh, yeah, I can count my lucky stars for that one. I'm sure not everyone's in the same boat. But nonetheless, uh, you did give me immediate relief just uh, in our few minutes and, and the adjustment that you gave. I mean, I'm already feeling... A lot more energetic. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is, this is bitching. But, you know, you got to figure out working with a Ferrari. All I'm doing is tightening up the bolts and making it not squeak. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, my athletic days are behind me, I think. But, uh, no, I'd certainly like to uh, rekindle anything that I can in terms of you. Oh, God. Well, I mean, where do you see what the post x-rays look like? And, th and that's the key. Find somebody that, that no matter what the symptoms are, because, uh, I mean, really, only, you only got 10% of the nerves coming off the body that have awareness. 90% don't. So, so no, I feel fine. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm been good at masking things for a long time. We all are. I mean, anybody out there, raise your hand if you've gone to work hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's called, like, yeah, that's called everybody, you know, but, but, you know, we got to do that. It, it's just, we're living in an ignorant society that says we have a pill for your ill, not that you're, you know, your body is intelligent, it's given symptoms for a reason. You don't hear that stuff, but your body is intelligent, giving you symptoms for a reason. I, being from America, have seen kind of just the trend over the last 20 years in terms of um, whether they actually want the wellness for the individual as, a, as opposed to the industry. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it, it, it resonates with me with this practice in particular, just because people that work around here actually seem to care about my well-being. And so just from an energy and connection standpoint, that makes me feel a lot better because I already had a lot of anxiety about just even having my mouth hurt. I Amen. Amen. I, I found this place like around 25, 26 years ago. And I had a tooth that I had to remove when I was in college. And so I'm talking like 1980 or 1979. And I had no money. So I just heated up an eight penny nail on the stove and took it. So, yeah, I needed dental work, but I was so scared. And, you know, thank God I found Alessandro in this clinic. I mean, I understand fear. It, it's like when I'm adjusting one of the dentists. I say, look, the whole world is scared of you, the you or me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, take charge of your health. Okay. Now, now, cause, um, what, what could you tell people? Because, you know, they're, they, they don't know, like you said, the, the America isn't really concerned about the health of the individual. They're more concerned about uh, promoting their programs or certain things that we, we would even be censored if we talked about them. I've been witness to, um, my mother's, uh, say, neurologist, and just sitting in the waiting room, and there are suits that come in with their 
you know, their brand names to try to sell off products. And it, it just didn't strike me as an organic approach to people's wellness because I don't feel like the person that was coming in there with the suit had any idea who my mom was or any of the patients were, but he just had a product that he wanted the doctor to be able to make offer to any of those patients. I, I'm sorry you're listening to this because Troy is not watching TV enough, okay? <laughs> uh, typically, the pharmaceutical industry, which runs our government, runs our TV, runs our, 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 our lives, he's not following the program. I shall find out what the defect is. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I shit, I, you have a bunch of common sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that comes from my mother, uh, first and foremost, but uh, yeah, there's a lot I could go down in terms of my own, you know, personal knowledge of uh, the corporate status of the United States and all of that, but I won't get into why I felt like there's not a good place for me in the States to be able to get this sort of treatment because at least from what I gathered, like the live cell scan in particular, I, was, uh, I think the device that you do to be able to uh, extract that or see it, um, I'm not sure if they even really have that available. It, it's illegal north of the border yeah, right, it's for diagnostics. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's like that. I mean, we're having a pain in the butt trying to find a clean stem cell source because we can't have any um, people with certain medical procedures that we can't even talk about this. They got to be pure of that, and and so we're always looking at it, out of like eight to ten samples, we get maybe two or three. So we're having trouble sourcing good stuff down here. But at least we're going to talk about it and source it and find it up north of the border. There's a lot of stuff you can't even do what we're doing down here. I, it's it's mind blowing. I, I I thought the engagement between all of the staff in terms of actually hearing me and what was going on was actually extremely fascinating because um, it seemed like they were taking a genuine interest in not only my particular issues but anything that I maybe had known that they didn't that they could look into any further. Uh, I think um, your phlo phlebotomist uh, uh, Alejandro, I believe, uh, he. Um, uh, took an interest in Perxheimer effect because he had heard of it, and so I I, I was curious as to whether I would I would be uh, susceptible to that sort of thing, and so because uh, of the you know chelations t detoxing uh, that's a natural Absolutely. circumstance in which a lot of people would go through, but um, as long as uh, you know he he was kind of aware of like, yeah, you would have some sort of symptoms, but not that there was like a clinical uh, term that had like a, a long history to it for being able to talk about that specific thing. I, it, the cool thing, honest, that I mean, I've got two great crews at both offices. Down here every morning, and I know it's a cultural thing, where, where you actually hug each other to start the day. Up north, if you did that, you know, you'd have to call HR, <laughs> You've been resources. And they go back to the bay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, dude, you know. Yeah, but but you're right. I mean, this is a genuine carry. Okay, I mean, um, I got that connection the moment you walked in the door. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I think both of our moms taught us common sense. It, yeah, it's uh, becoming less and less nowadays. So, but I, I mean, I'm not sure for where it is. <laughs> okay, take charge of your health. What what can you tell people out there? Because you're the one that's that's not accepting what the corporate media is telling you, okay? I, I believe in my mom too. She gave me common sense as well, okay? What could you tell someone that's in a dark pit? Because I just did, did an email to someone that's in the dark pit of hell. You know, they have all these labels. You know, they got lupus. They got antiphospholipid syndrome. They've got they've got uh, you know arthritis in every joint, and none of that's true. It's all adaptation. Yeah, as you pointed out to me, I didn't even know I had arthritis in my neck because my body is just adapted to having it. But um, it's it's just about knowing and or at least having a, a relatively objective analysis that you can take in and digest on your own without somebody kind of telling you exactly what to do about it. Um, I, I, I like the approach of uh, offering suggestions not necessarily prescriptions. Um, recommendations and suggestions to me are putting the onus back on me to ultimately make up the decision for what is best for me. And I'm the one that knows my body the best. Absolutely. So uh, I, I, I think everything that was presented to me was just, here's the information. This is what we gathered based upon things that you can't see with 
devices that you wouldn't have access to otherwise. And um, I, I learned so much more about myself in the past like three or four days that it's indirectly affecting and lowering my stress because I'm not having to constantly think about what's wrong. And, and what we found on the films, and this is a type of arthritis that's correctable and reversible. Okay, so, so don't think, oh, I've got this disease. No, it's an adaptation to trauma. Your discs are mobile, and we're going to get a second x-ray after a series of adjustments to document the structural and neurologic changes. Yeah. I, it's cool. I, I, I think the... Um, the way that you kind of broke down each part of like the spine, the neck, uh, and then going into thermography to talk about uh, the lymphatic and uh, parasympathetic, uh, parasympathetic yep, yep. Um, systems and kind of how there's a, uh, a way to put it on a graph that is digestible to the normal person. Because if you're not in the green and you're in the red, uh, that's kind of easy to follow. I mean, granted, like yeah, parasympathetic versus sympathetic, you're like, uh, okay, yeah, I have to know a little bit about the human body first and foremost, but um, at least if you know kind of the general direction, you can start to put two and two together. I, I get stress from X and Y, Z area, and it's actually affecting me in A, B, and C. That, that, brilliant. And that, that's it, when I talk to a computer guy, I get probably 30% of what they're saying, and you're, you're a computer guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a brilliant explanation. It really is. Um, get anything that, that, I mean, that was a great explanation. Okay, take charge of your health. It's safe and fun down here. But, you know, find somebody that, that does a test, and then, I mean, this is, this is earth-shattering. They do something, and then they do another test to show that they fixed the problem. Before and after results, uh, I think, you know, that's kind of caught on in terms of like ads. So, you know, you, you see the before of somebody and then the after, and there's a, a, a noticeable difference. And um, having those sorts of results as a part of the therapy to see that you actually are making the progress that you're you're desiring um, is, is, a, is that emotional and energetic reinforcement that I think a lot of people really need because that's the mental side that you have to have working on the, you know, emotional and physical, right? Very, very cool. Oh my God. Okay. First adjustment today. And this man gets a better picture than most every healthcare professional out there. <laughs> I appreciate that. Again, my, I, I, I thank my mother for her intuition. <laughs> God bless you, brother. You're rocking me. It's, you're not. It's appreciated. Okay. Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>